Good morning and happy Eclipse Day. Um, I found this book in my classroom library called Someone is Eating the Sun, and it's all about the eclipse. Now, the animals, the characters in it, um, look directly at the sun. That is a bit of a drawback, but they have a disclaimer inside on the second page. It says, the animals in this story look at the sun, but that is something you must never do. If you do look directly at the sun, you may permanently damage your eyes. So at least they've got a disclaimer in there, but it's a really cute book. So I am going to do a read aloud this morning. This is Someone is Eating the Sun by Ruth A. Sonneborn, illustrated by Eric Gurney. Here we go. One day, Hen was pecking around, picking up corn when it began to grow darker. That's strange, said Hen. There's not a cloud in the sky. Why is it getting darker? When she looked up, she saw something stranger still. A bite-sized piece of the sun was missing. Goodness gracious, cried Hen, someone has taken a bite out of the sun. I must go and tell Rooster. And off she went, feathers flying with a flippity flap and a flutter. Rooster was standing on a fence, crowing as loud as he could. Rooster, Rooster, cried Hen, something terrible is going on. Don't bother me about it, said Rooster. Can't you see I'm practicing? If I stop to talk to everyone who comes by, I'll never be ready for tomorrow's sunrise. Well, you can stop practicing right now, said Hen. There isn't going to be a sunrise tomorrow. Look up there. Cock-a-doodle-doo, crowed Rooster. What's happening to the sun? Someone is eating it, said Hen. We must go warm duck. And off they went, legs scurrying, feathers flying with a flippity flap and a flutter. Duck was swimming in the pond. Duck, duck, cried Hen. Something dreadful is going on. Don't bother me now, said Duck. Can't you see I'm busy swimming? This is the only way I can keep cool on a hot day. Well, you can stop worrying about keeping cool, said Hen. There isn't going to be a hot day. Look up there. Quack, quack, squawked Duck. What's happening to the sun? Someone is eating it, said Hen. We must go on pig. And off they went. Wings beating, legs scurrying, flat feathers flying, with a flippity flap and a flutter. If you notice, there's a little animal in almost every scene that uh, is not part of the story, but is observant. The pig, was, the pig was lounging in the mud. Pig, pig, cried Hen, something horrible is going on. Don't tell me any bad news, said Pig. Can't you see? I'm trying to calm my nerves. Nothing is better for the nerves than lounging in the mud when the sun is beating down. Well, you can stop lounging in the mud, said Hen. The sun's not beating down anymore. Look up at the sky. Yee, squealed Pig. What's happening to the sun? Someone is eating it, said Hen. We must go warn Goat. It's getting smaller. And off they went, feet pounding, wings beating, legs scurrying, feathers flying with a flippity flap and a flutter. Goat was munching grass at the top of the hill. Goat! Goat! cried Hen. Someone is eating the sun. What do I care? As long as no one eats my grass, said Goat. This is the best grass I've ever tasted. You mean you don't care if there's no sun, said Pig? No sun, asked Goat. That's the silliest thing I've ever heard. Look for yourself, said Hen. Blah! bleated Goat. The sun's half gone. That's the worst thing I've ever seen. Blah! Blah! As soon as Goat began to bleat, Pig began to squeal, Duck began to squawk, Rooster began to crow, and Hen began to cluck. It was a dreadful racket. What are we going to do, they cried. What are we going to do? Why don't you keep quiet and watch the eclipse, said a voice nearby. Everyone turned around. There was Turtle looking down at them. Surely you don't want to miss the eclipse said Turtle. It doesn't happen very often, you know. Only once in a great, great while does the moon come between us and the sun. And just think, it's happening now. The animals stared at Turtle in amazement. Ooh. Then everyone looked up at the sky. Just a slice of the sun was left. 
They, as they watched, the sky got darker and darker. The slice of the sun grew smaller and smaller until it disappeared. There in front of the sun was a black silhouette of the moon. The moon had come exactly between the earth and the sun. All around the farm, everything was dark and still. They were standing in the shadow of the moon. Just as they were thinking that the sun was gone forever, a piece of it appeared. While they stood watching, the piece grew bigger and bigger. The sky got lighter and lighter. The moon was moving on. The sun was still there. Hooray for the sun, cried goat and pig and duck and rooster, jumping up and down. Hooray for the great, big, wonderful sun. My goodness, said hen, no one ate it after all. Then off they went, goat back to eating his grass, pig back to lounging in the mud, duck back to swimming in the pond, and rooster back to crowing on the fence. And hen, back to pecking around, picking up corn with a flippity flap and a flutter. So that was someone is eating the sun. Um, again, it, it shows them looking directly up at the sun. Um, but it is a good, fairly good illustration of what's happening from a storyteller perspective. Happy Eclipse Day!